Ah, Athens, the birthplace of democracy, the center of art and philosophy, and apparently also the home of many stray cats. And there's a cat in the tree. Welcome to a three days Athens itinerary. The adventure starts at Eindhoven Airport. What do you have to say, Lazar? We were flying with Etzian, a Greek airline, and as you can see, we were walking into the airplane, and surprisingly, we actually had a ton of legroom, which you can see right here. And what was the best was that we even got some food, actually, which was a lovely spinach pie. Normally, you wouldn't get that at a budget airline, but I guess we did this time, so shout out to you, Etzian. We made it. Yes. Here's a duck. We came to Athens to look at ducks. This is gonna be part of the vlog. Not funny, Dado. Yes, it is. Not funny. <laughs> we are looking at them goats. Goats. On the first day, we went to the National Gardens of Athens and actually also to the university. Our tour guide and good friend took us there. We also went to the National Library, which you can see here. These buildings are made in Asian style, but of course are quite modern. And afterwards, we went to Exarchia, where you can see a lot of graffiti. It's basically the district that's very rebelish. And afterwards, we tried Salepi at Monastiraki Square. You could see the reaction of how great it was. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Uh, sure. Really, you like it? Very, I mean, very nice. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, yeah. if, if I drink this more, I think I will like it. Mm. Want some? Today we're having salad. We all have boza. How is it? Very sweet. Very, Very sweet? Yeah. You like it? It's also like some kind yeah? of... Yeah. After pretending to enjoy Salepi, we went to the shopping streets around Monastiraki Square. These were mostly like touristy traps, I guess, where there are a lot of souvenirs and not really that interesting stuff. It's not a banjo, it's a bujuki. Ah, bujuki. keep calm, Malaka. We ended the day by having some traditional Greek food, which was pretty good. We also tried tsipuro, which was not that good. So today we're going to be going to the Acropolis, actually. I'm now on the balcony of the hotel and, well, we should be going to there. So yeah, let's find out. Oh yeah, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Um, which angle? Doesn't wait. matter that much. Uh, should I reposition? Yeah, should yeah. better. Yeah. Because like, I don't have a very good view. <laughs> Yeah, that was me trying to pour in some coffee, but yeah, I failed kind of. Afterwards, we went to the Acropolis, had a little hike. Um, we actually visited the stadium first, which is this one. Beautiful, worth a visit, check it out. Yeah. Uh, you are the cameraman. Where you want to stand? What what do you like? Where is the? Yeah. Do you understand now? What? Why? This is what I was hating on. What the fuck happened? Look at this. Yeah. It's awful, right? I know. It's so bad. I I love to slip. Hello, guys. Welcome to Lazo's channel. <laughs> so what we were discussing here was that they actually smooth out the ruins and they kind of destroyed them with that, but they made it more accessible for everyone. So yeah, that's why we were talking about that. After visiting the Acropolis itself, we were planning to go to the museum. So we got our tickets. By the way, if you're EU and under 25, you can get them for free. Maybe worth it to check that out. So the museum was full with everything that had to do with Greek ancient history. Very beautiful, very nice. Uh, what was one of the most surprising aspects that there was so much missing actually because it was in other museums of the world, for example, the British Museum. Here you can see the six karyotides. Yeah, one of them is not here because its home is in the British Museum actually. 
In this part you could really see that how much was missing. The white parts are actually in different museums and the yellowish parts are actual real parts of the museum. Uh, we changed hotels and as you can see we have this wonderful view of Athens. Almost the same as the other one, right Dian? It was time for a third day in Athens and we started off the day with a lovely Greek coffee again as well. This time I didn't import it myself so it was safe. Afterwards we went for a little walk around the Plaka district. Very beautiful, has a lot of monasteries and uh, ruins. So yeah, we also came across this disgustingly pink coffee shop. And finally we ended the day by having this view with a little glass of wine. Pretty good. The next day was actually departure day. We started off with a coffee again with a view on the Acropolis. And when you're in Athens, don't forget to also look down because you may be walking on some ancient ruins. At last, we went to the Panathinaic Stadium where the first Olympics, the first modern Olympics were hosted in 1898. Finally, we went to the same restaurant as the first day because it was so good. And that's it actually, that was the trip. One thing, keep in mind that if you fly with a budget airline, it takes quite a long time to actually get to the terminal itself. So be on time. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the trip. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed. And see you next time. Bye-bye.